Go. My name is uh, Thomas Bussey. I am the uh, promoter and, and matchmaker for Extreme Knockout um, and run the gym here in Arlington. What, what got me started in mixed martial arts is uh, my dad you know, started the gym in 1989. So we've run a uh, training facility here in Arlington for 21 years, 22, going on 22 years now. And, you know, it's been a part of my life. So, you know, it's just always been in, ingrained that this is what I was going to do and this is what I was going to be a part of. We've done, like I said, had the gym for, for 22 years, so I grew up around it. Um, we did professional wrestling for 10 years and um, built that up, built the company up. And um, mixed martial arts has always been something that we wanted to do. We actually did our first show in 2002. I say we, I mean, my dad, I was a lot younger then, but my dad, you know, did XKO then. And that was a goal of ours, but with, with doing wrestling shows and having a television, that, that took a lot of our focus um, towards that, which, which gave us a lot of experience and a lot of knowledge to, to start the fights. And so that, we, we love it, and that's what we're doing today. I'm not giving away uh, any secrets. No. Uh, as far as far as I think, you just have to believe in what you're doing. I mean, if you if you lose focus and you think oh, I'm going to do this for for money or for you know, ultimately you want to be financially stable and want to be successful, but you can't just go after it looking at that. You have to look at it as a sport itself. Um, I think part of that is because we believe and and love the the sport and product so much. And give everything, you know, I give my heart and soul to it, to the gym and the fights. I think that's that's the major factor there. Um, and then it's building it up for the sport. I mean, I care and, and believe in these fighters and, and taking local fighters. Our whole goal is to build build the fighters up and build the company up um, to help them out. So if, if we can push fighters to the next level, or if I see guys on the WC or, or UFC now or Strike Force so they get fights in Japan. Um, more power. That's our that's our goal. Then I put a smile on my face. Um, again, I think with with Extreme Knockout, we're building a again a, pro, a product up and a company up. So when people come to the fights, they think they're they're not just doing it because they're coming to see a, a friend fight or somebody from their school fight. They're doing it because they want to see the XKO event. Um, I think. With our events, you, you don't come just going, hey, I, I saw some fights, and then you leave. With ours, you, we, we usually do a block party, and we do a pre-fight party, and we do um, have live bands and contests and multiple vendors. And I, I want people to leave going, man, that was an exciting event. I got I to gotta, um, meet the guys from the Marines, or you know, I got to pick up a much close, you know, clothing line that's new that started with mixed martial arts, and I like the shirt, or, or I saw some awesome fights, you know, or I got to meet some good, good people. Um, and that's, I think that's what, you know, the difference is. And I guess what they can expect is a, is a great show. I mean, I believe this, every event, it keeps getting better and better. Uh, bigger turnouts, more vendors, um, the fights are getting better. I'm learning about the fighters, you know, and, and their fighting styles. So I think the, I think that uh, the fight card it's gonna be the best we've ever put on. And I say that every event. Every event I'm like, oh man, this is the best fight card to put on, but really with you know, 16 returning fighters, most, most of these guys fought for us multiple times. And um, so the fans are gonna be, well, no, I mean, they're gonna know the fighters. They're gonna, they can relate to them. Same thing as the UFC. When you turn on the UFC, you watch it because you wanna see Chuck Liddell or you wanna see Rampage Jackson or you, you wanna see your favorite fighter. And with XKO, now on our ninth event, I think fans, can come do that. They want to. They want to see the Kano Gregory, and they want to see uh, Brad Mitchell and Quint Kemp and, and those guys fight because they fought for us before. So I think fans can expect a, a great show and um, something solid that they'll leave going, man, I, I can't wait till the next one. I definitely want to um, continue to grow. I I look at it taking one event at a time. Um, you know, we, we we get this event. I got another one scheduled for for about. Uh, nine weeks later, I believe. So, um, you know, I want to do more amateur events in this venue as well. We've done hosted amateur events, so my whole goal is to try to get something going um, consistent. When people think of the gym, they think, oh, that's where they do the fights, or wonder when they're having fights. You know, that I want to to build up the venue and the gym, and then 
and definitely build up XKO. I don't know what what uh, you know. I don't know what we're gonna do as far as taking some of those steps. But I just take one event at a time and build it up. Gotta holla at y'all one more time. Check. King crown on my clothes, root down on my toes. No sleep, keep drowning my foes. Uh, it's Mariachi Day. If you a friend of mine, lemon lime squeeze on the beef like it's dinner time. Be the speaker, run through every room like an intercom. Listen, I go hard on the beef.